Empress Lui was born into a wealthy family during the late Qing Dynasty. Her father was an affluent man, but he had a lot of enemies. To escape from them, the family moved to a town called Pei. Once the country magistrate heard about it, he immediately arranged a banquet for Empress Lui's family. Many powerful people in the town attended the banquet, including Liu Bang. At that time, he was still a low-ranking official. But Empress Lui's father was impressed by him and saw great potential in him. As a result, he decided to marry his daughter to him. At that time, Liu Bang was already 40 years old when Empress Lui was only 20. After the marriage, Empress Lui gave birth to one boy and one girl. As Liu Bang went out very often, Empress Lui took the responsibility to take care of Liu Bang's parents and the children. One day, Liu Bang received a task from the government to bring 500 prisoners to another area. But during the journey, half of them fled. To prevent from being punished, Liu Bang released all the prisoners and then escaped. Because of Liu Bang's misconduct, his wife, Empress Lui, was put in prison. Fortunately, she was soon released because of a family connection. After that, she continued to look after the family and sent Liu Bang the resources he needed. In the late Qing dynasty, there were numerous rebellions against the government. Liu Bang took the chance to come back to the town and later participated in the rebellion under King Huai. During this period, Empress Lui continued to support the family alone. In earlier 206 BC, after the fall of the Qing dynasty, Xiang Yu divided the empire into 18 kingdoms. Liu Bang was granted the title King of Han and was given the remote Baoshu region as his domain. Although Liu Bang became the king, his relationship with Xiang Yu grew worse. Later, Empress Lui was captured by Xiang Yu. A few years later, Liu Bang and Xiang Yu brought about a reconciliation to divide the empire into West and East under their Han and Western Chu domains. Empress Lui was finally returned to Liu Bang, but the fragile truce between the two sides did not last long. In 202 BC, Liu Bang attacked and defeated Xiang Yu. He then proclaimed himself the Emperor of China and established the Han Dynasty. Empress Lui became his Empress and their son Liu Ying became the Crown Prince. After that, Empress Lui played an important role in politics. To help Liu Bang stabilize his power, she flamed and executed two militaries, Han Xing and Pan Yue, who were accused of betraying the country. Although Empress Lui was dedicated to protecting her husband, Liu Bang did not appreciate it. In his late years, Liu Bang was deeply attracted by a young and beautiful woman, concubine Qi, who gave birth to a son called Liu Yu Yi. Liu Bang even planned to make the boy his new crown prince to replace Empress Lui's son. Empress Lui was worried and sought help from the strategist Zhang Liang. Zhang told her that Liu Bang longed to get the support from the four most prestigious hermits, but he failed. If Empress Lui's son Liu Ying could gain their support, he could show his competence. Finally, Liu Ying succeeded. Liu Bang was pleased at his ability. This affirmed Liu Ying's role as the crown prince. In 195 BC, Liu Bang died. Liu Ying took the throne as Emperor Hui of Han. Empress Lui was honored as Empress Dowager, but in fact, she was the actual ruler behind the administration. To sustain her power, Empress Lui punished the concubines favored by her husband before. Regarding the concubines she never saw as a threat, such as Consul Bo, she did not hurt them. Empress Lui especially hated concubine Qi and her son, so she bitterly resented them. She removed her title, shaved her hair, and forced her to labor. Empress Lui also intended to kill her son Liu Yu Yi, but the emperor tried to save him by keeping him by his side most of the time. One day, the emperor went hunting and did not bring Liu Yu Yi with him. Empress Lui then sent an assassin to poison Liu Yu Yi. He was dead by the time the emperor returned. After killing the boy, Empress Lei ordered to cut off concubine Qi's limbs, gouge her eyes, sly off her ears, made her unable to speak by poisoning, and finally throw her to a latrine. She called her a human swine and asked the emperor to see. The emperor was completely shocked and devastated. Since then, he became ill and refused to take part in any state affairs. All the power fell into the hands of Empress Lui. In 191 BC, Empress Lui arranged the emperor to marry his niece, Zhang Yan. They did not have any children, but they were sad that Empress Lui asked Zhang Yan to adopt eight boys and kill the biological mothers. 
few years later, in 188 BC, the emperor died. Empress Lui placed Empress Hui's adopted boy on the throne. This left the power solely in the hands of Empress Lui. To establish the power, she replaced most officials with her own family members. Later, the new emperor discovered that he was adopted and his birth mother was killed. When Empress Lui knew about it, she confined him in the palace and replaced him with another infant. Again, the real power was in the hands of Empress Lui. Regardless of Empress Lui's cruelty, she contributed a lot to the development and stability of the Han Dynasty. She kept many good policies in Liu Bang's reign, including low taxes to help the people recover from the wars, advocating the royals to avoid waste, and maintaining peace with the minority through marriages. After 15 years of rule, Empress Lui finally died of illness at the age of 61 in 180 BC. She was buried with Liu Bang in Changling. After her death, all her family members were removed from power. Liu Hong, a son of Liu Bang and Consul Bo, was selected to succeed the throne as Emperor Wen of Han.